Who are you? You heard me, who are you? I didn't ask what you like or what you want to do. No, I said, who are you? You're human, yes, but there's more. Bones, muscle, skin, what else in store? Because this question is a question of your heart. It's the one thing in you that tells us who you really are. You need a specific key to unlock it. It's where you store everything. Your brain stores your memories, your heart, your emotions, your feelings. But we give our hearts and minds to some strange things. Because sometimes I get off Facebook and all I see is lives that they took. We bought into the lies. It's all about the likes. Forget about a relationship. We closed our minds. Because social media is full of lies. False perceptions that we use to show that life is all good, all the while people get abused and we get confused because we love to pretend that our lives are all good. Life isn't all about the pleasure we can find in boys and sex, and we treat girls like a phone for the wreck. I mean, it's great for a while, but what happens when you want something new? I understand your desire for a quick fix, but do you really think you can hide a broken heart under links? Or at the end of the day, will our achievements satisfy? Or maybe it's money and treasures. Could they mastermind this problem which just seems to deepen the divide? Because money is fleeting, yet our biggest desire. And we want more and more. We just add fuel to the fire. What happens when you reach the top? Halt at the edge. Take a look back at the drop. Then will you stop? No. But further still. When the love of your life lies to you, what will you do? When your family is broken, what will you do? When all your friends desert you, who will you run to? When nothing else satisfies, what will you run to? These are the questions of our hearts. These are the things that tell us who you really are. It's how you walk through the valley, not stand on the mountain top. These are the things that show if our heart is good or not. Everything of this world is fleeting. It will let you down. It will push you underwater and hold you there until you drown. And you can't swim against the world's desires, yet we all try. We give up and give in to the lies of this life. Nothing has changed since day one. He told Adam and Eve he was Lord of their lives, but they took the fruit and since things haven't been right, our first identity crisis, God in the driver's seat, but we wanted the license. His license to the world was our greatest desire. But that's what led to sin when humans became liars. All created by our selfish ambition, it's amazing the destruction we cause. Dropping bombs and killing in our billions. Let's give humanity a round of applause. Here's the problem. We left Eden with a God-shaped hole in our heart. Anything else we use to fill it will just tear us apart. But God has been there from the start. I know you don't care and don't want to listen because I did too. I know he's your genie in a bottle. You only call him when you need to. But God made you. So you were made in his image, in his likeness. But we spite this. We don't like it. We don't know how to write it. Yet he sent someone. Someone so special he could not be ignored. Someone so special he had no fatal flaws. He lived the life we couldn't live. He suffered, died and gave everything there was to give. We get our lives back because he gave us his. It was when I turned to look upon the hill, upon the cross, the figure still. All the religious leaders' hands did clasp as Jesus Christ had breathed his last. But three days dead and buried in the tomb was not enough for him to be consumed. He rose to save people, you and me, and we all ask, how can it be that Jesus Christ would die for me. But let me tell you this, when you are down, your soul is taking hits. When sin and shame become too much to bear, and it feels like no one really understands or cares. When you are in the darkest place and in need of just a little grace, He will answer and He will change you. He cleans you up, makes you brand new. And what is left for you to do? Just accept the free gift of life that Christ gave to you.